Now, this segment is for anyone who's been diagnosed with a mental health disorder or a friend or loved one struggling with a mental health disorder. This includes bipolar, opposite, bipolar disorder, ADHD, autism, mental retardation, and Down syndrome. The other point is the crisis arises. I want to tell you there will be crises. Yelling, breaking things, name calling, crying, isolating, physical violence. Living with bipolar disorder myself, I've been through all of these situations. There are several solutions to use when in crisis, which can be fixed by oneself or from outside sources. My mother is my caregiver. We came up with a code word for when I started to head towards a crisis. I am a huge Godzilla fan, so our code word is Godzilla. It makes me realize I'm starting to become like Godzilla and use a coping strategy. Coping strategies are very useful for ending or preventing a crisis. I will now share mine. My absolute favorite coping strategy that has always worked for me is called the Eve of ABCs. I learned this tactic in high school from the school therapist. One common coping in the school is the same letter of the alphabet and so the same word to each letter. A is for apple, B is for balloon, some of these animals. A is for anti or B is for boa constrictor. Well, the evil ABCs are much more fun. You come with an insulting word for each letter of the alphabet. A is for asshole, B is for bitch. By the time I get up to R, I'm pretty calm. Seriously, try it out. It's really fun. Another good strategy is counting. That one is pretty easy, unless you spice it up. I play number games. You're not allowed to use a calendar, by the way. A good one is the, is the 12 days of Christmas. Try to find exactly how many gifts that your true love sent to you. It sounds easy enough, but it's a good gateway. Another good one is how many seconds in a day. Then you can say seconds a week, a month, a year, 10 years, however advanced you want to do it. Really challenge yourself. Make it difficult. It's more effective that way. I also have a very advanced set of number games, which are extremely difficult and rather random, but still fun, constantly changing the rules. And another that works for me is isolation. Spending time alone helps me think of why the crisis is happening. Not that what the crisis is, why it is, once I see exactly why I'm on edge, I realize that the whole situation is rather pointless, and that stopping at this point is what needs to be done. I just had these distractions. Do something fun on your own. Read a book if you like to read. Play a video game, watch a show you, or a movie you really enjoy. Exercise, listen to music. Do something you find fun. A strategy is that you can that is really useful is keeping a journal. Write down how you feel. You can draw. You can have a diary. You can write what's going on and then review it until you see it, until you see why. The why is always what you have to answer in order to end the crisis. Again, use the what works for you. Maybe some of my examples will help you. If not, work from there. Crises can be tough to handle, but they can always be resolved.